What's going on guys, Corsair from Gaming Legit, bringing you some Battlefield 3 gameplay and I'm going to bring you another uh, vehicle strategy for you guys. I think the last video was tank. Uh, I wanted to upload another support class video, but I realized I've already given you two of those. One was C4 strategy and the other one was a squad deathmatch using the claymores and the uh, saw light machine gun. Um, so I didn't want to overload you with a bunch of support. I just really like using the support. It's you know one of my favorite classes. I've kind of been using the engineer quite a bit lately because of the new weapons and some of the recon. I haven't really given you some of my infamous Corzy sniper gameplay, but nevertheless, I'm going to show you some chopper gameplay. Uh, first thing you want to do as soon as you lift off is don't focus on the points take on their choppers and get them out of the air because that's your biggest threat uh, and so right off of the bat switch over to your heat seekers and before you can even see them you'll start getting lock-ons if you reasonably know where they're going to be coming from trust me it works every time and the the noobs always get caught off guard where they leave their base and they fly straight over to the objectives you will get beaten out by people like me all the time because you're not paying attention and since you guys are also not working as a team, I'm going to be able to pick you off one by one. Um, and w something that's helping me out a lot, uh, I, ooh, I just got punished actually right there because I was taking two on and he actually killed me before my chopper get taken out. And that's just kind of unlucky that happens every once in a while. You guys have probably experienced it if you've played even a couple hours in this game. Um, and put some time in the vehicles you definitely have experienced it or it's a WTF moment you're flying around one stinger missile hits you you know that all that does is disable your vehicle and you can repair it and continue on your way and still combat against them however this particular stinger missile hits you and kills you personally and uh, doesn't actually destroy your chopper just d kills you um, it's unlucky it happens happened to me it's alright I'm gonna get back into the chopper give you some more gameplay but the first thing I'm gonna do since that chopper took me out and I know that nobody hardly ever focuses on these guys I don't know why because uh, you have quite a few teammates but it always seems to be my job to shoot them out of the air um, but I get into this little duet and honestly I don't know what this vehicles called but the gunner is beastly I love these secondary machine gun gunners uh, and, and like the Hummer, um, the tank, and even this little duo. I, I have no idea what this vehicle is called. I'm absolutely garbage at it. But the point is, is that these things destroy, and they're totally overlooked. They're anti-air, super, super efficient vehicles. Um, they can be destroyed quite quickly with little birds if you're playing against some successful uh, chopper pilots. But as you see right there, my main objective, I took out the vehicle, commit suicide, because I want to get back into the chopper. You guys should go ahead, well, you just gave away one ticket. Yeah, but I know that I can be successful in the chopper. And so I know the spawn, t the spawn time is roughly like a minute for the chopper. Um, and so if you time it right, you'll be able to go out, do something, commit suicide, get back into the chopper, and continue on your way. And I'm going to make up for it with my one ticket that I sacrificed to get back into this chopper. Because more... See, right, uh, this is the example of the preemptive locking on. I couldn't even see that guy, and I'm spamming the, lo uh, the spot button too, because I know that that's vaguely where they're coming from. And I get lock on before they even see me. And so they're getting locked on. They don't know where it's coming from. They don't know if it's someone with a stinger missile they don't know if it's uh, or, or if it's chopper pilot and where is the chopper pilot if he does nice double kill right there I'm gonna continue over to the spawn and I'm gonna harass the hell out of the spawn uh, but the thing I was talking about before is that I commit suicide I give up that ticket so that I, I could spawn on my chopper because to me it's worth the risk and one ticket I could care less because I have teammates doing far far worse for the team than me committing suicide once to get into the chopper it's somewhat selfish I understand that because I do super 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 enjoy driving around in the chopper and I want it I don't want anybody else to have it I want it I mean unless I'm playing with my friends that I'll give it away um, but I'm also playing with my uh, my best pal bouncing panda and a subscriber good friend Godfrey um, yeah he's, he's an early on subscriber so shout out to you Godfrey and uh, he's spawning my chopper, we're talking, and he's going to be my engineer pal. And he's going to be repairing the hell out of my chopper, which just leads me to go on this big tear on these guys and completely aggravate them. Um, but that selfish act of me committing suicide to get into the chopper, I, I don't think it's that bad when in comparison, I'm probably going to have a... I don't want to call them names, but a not-so-good teammate 
with probably less experience than me that's going to get in the chopper and crash it immediately or do something just completely retarded with it and make no use of the chopper at all. Um, so yeah, I'm going to commit suicide. I'm going to take the chopper. I already have plans on it. Before this game even started, when I saw that this map was spawned, I already talked to Godfrey and uh, most likely Paul. Paul's already ranked up everything for his chopper, and this video was recorded several weeks ago. Uh, and so I don't even have a lot of the stuff uh, unlocked that I do uh, that I've unlocked currently now. And I'm actually lower ranked. I think I've got my my MVP dog tag or something like that, and it shows like something like 60 first place and now I'm like over 90 or something like that and this was recorded a couple weeks ago um, but anyways and, and since this new patch and I know you guys are probably itching to get some of the new gameplay from the new maps um, and some of the new weapons uh, but regardless of the new maps and the new weapons you haven't seen me post one of these videos before and it's going to be Battlefield 3 content either way. Yes, I am going to be giving you some of that uh, footage coming up pretty soon. I was hoping for Godfrey to jump out and take that chopper. Did he? Did he make it? I'm not sure. No, he didn't. And so, uh, I believe I'm going to punish him. Maybe not. I don't know. Um, anyways, I'm getting sidetracked now because I'm starting to daydream and think about other things. I shouldn't be doing that. Uh, yeah, the new maps are absolutely fantastic. And this new big-ass patch that they just released, call it a DLC, I guess. Um, 2.2 gigabytes or something like that it took forever to download they would put a lot of little details into this game I mean it wasn't just maps and weapons guys they actually did a lot of updates too. they updated the infrared scope which is just way 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 overpowered um, that's why you never saw me put any footage of that I used it a couple times and I was addicted to it for a couple games but then I realized how much of a douchebag I was being because it, it's so unfair to use that thing because of all the blinding light in this game um, and how characters, because of the lighting, uh, kind of disappear and you really have to have an attuned eye to be able to pull characters out of the scene uh, on the maps. The infrared scope lights up guys across the map no matter where they are and they literally gl glow and uh, the iron sights are super super easy to use, it's just like a red dot and you just destroy people with the infrared. It's not even remotely fair. So they patched that, they fixed that, they also did other things such as um, the chopper. That's what I was trying to get to. So right now, Godfrey's repairing my chopper. That's why I'm still able to exist after I'm getting shot by all these stinger missiles. I have uh, an extinguisher on, and so in between Godfrey repairing me, I uh, use the extinguisher to put me back into flyability, as I like to call it. So I'm able to actually still manage my chopper and uh, fly it around. You can see I've got three or four different engineers trying to take me down I am pissing these guys off rightfully so and this is what I absolutely love about this game I love turning the game into a vendetta to get Corzy um, because they're I've got like four or five guys pulled off of the objective and focused on me call me camping the spawn but this is a pretty smart strategy because me alone have caused what is it four five six guys I have no idea how many guys it is but they're all focused on getting me um, and that's absolutely brilliant because that's that many less people that are not trying to get the conquest points. Fantastic. Um, but with this new update, they made it so that the engineers sitting inside of the choppers repairing your vehicle get repair points now. How fantastic is that? So if you're deciding to be a team player and sit into a chopper and just go on a tear like I kind of went on in this gameplay, I've actually had a lot better ch a chopper gameplay since, but I haven't recorded it. Um, you will actually get now some value out of helping your teammates. You'll get some repair points. And so for the people that are complaining about this and probably looking at this going, oh, you're one of those guys, one of those noobs. Well, if you're getting punished by people like me doing it, it's very, very easy to counter, man. Just go down into the bottom of your base, get into a boat, get into the tank, drive it out into the water, the secondary position of the tank, and shoot down a chopper super, super fast. Get out stinger missiles like I do. I got shot down by this guy, like, right off and so the first one of course he's gonna fire flyer second one gonna disable him and if he doesn't have a teammate working with him he's gonna go down bottom line um, and so battlefield 3 and dice rather than removing it from the game uh, calling this tactic that I'm doing cheap they're going no they're being uh, team oriented they're working together the only way that they can do 
what is called as quote quote cheap is if they're working together as a team that's kind of the difference between the premise of battlefield versus other games that stuff that quantifies as cheap in this game is actually teamwork it's stuff that you've got to actually strategically work out with a group of guys to be successful so that is ba and that's totally cool with me you see me commit suicide again and i'm waiting for my z11 uh, to spawn in I, I mix it up. Man, I call the Z11 Little Bird. Um, either way, this is my favorite vehicle in the game. Some heads up tips for when you're flying. It's kind of confusing. You actually have to get used to it. Um, the thing that uh, threw me off the most, I guess for beginning choppers, is the most important piece of um, uh, strategy or tips. Whatever. I, I mean, I'm slipping up my tongue. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have drank those Coronas before I did this commentary. Anyways... Uh, preemptively locking on this guy too. Uh, this just goes into the strategy I was giving you right off the bat. Before they can even see me, they're stuck in the haze and the fogs. They don't even know where I'm at. And uh, my guidance system and my chopper actually lock onto a target before I, actually, I can actually see them. And so that's something you should be doing, man. As soon as you get into that chopper, lift up and go straight to your tactics. Um, dude, I totally forget what I was talking about. Oh, strategy and flying your chopper. The, the biggest thing that I could do to help you guys that I had a problem with off the beginning was landing the chopper. And so if you're flying it by yourself as an engineer, you get hit. And if you get good at flying it, you can actually maneuver your chopper well enough to be able to fly it down very, very quickly, land, hop out, repair it, and get back up into the air. And if you do that, you're just going to be that much better in the chopper. And the tip to landing your chopper is going to be kind of weird at first, but when you get close to the left bumper, you're lowering your chopper down. And to level yourself out and really slow yourself down, you actually want to pull back on the joystick or whichever way it is to almost point the nose of your chopper straight up into the air so you actually won't be able to see the ground in the first person perspective but it softly lands your chopper onto the ground and that's the trick because before I was just landing it LB you know left bumper holding it all the way down to the ground smacking into the ground and then I'd blow up or I'd point, point my nose down and it would be a really really rough, uh, rough landing um, rather than kind of fluffing my landing anyways there's a previous vid i hope you guys have an absolutely amazing christmas holiday hanukkah kwanzaa whatever the hell you celebrate either way i hope you have a fantastic holiday and i'll catch you guys soon peace out